Mmm. I forgot I had that many souls from the, uh, the boss fight. That's beautiful texture. It's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> I really wish Brandon would um, try the game like this. He's like 100% against the idea of just playing through the game with the bell going. Cause look, like why? He would get constant PvP and be entertained throughout. That didn't trade. Oh, GG. <laughs> nice in there. Yeah, the matchmaking has its issues, but I, I found the best way to deal with it. And that's to go through the game, ringing this little bell. And you're not just standing in the same spot for 10 minutes. And you get a lot of action. Like, if I were over there by the lamp, ringing the bell... I wouldn't have gotten that invasion just now because that guy was over here by the fountain. So not only <clears throat> is it giving you something to do while you wait, but your viewers as a streamer can also stream snipe you. And it's not going to be like, oh, fair duels. It's still intense scenarios, if not even more intense because you're, you have the potential of losing your echoes and such. Look, look at this. But you're also going through the stage and uh, encountering those new those other areas that you you can't it's proximity based so Where are you scarecrow You can point out Bloodborne PvP. <sighs> I find it really fun. I find it much more enjoyable than damn uh, Dark Souls 2. And um, Pickles. <laughs> hey, Peeve. <laughs> Thank you, Pickles. Wait, what are you? <gasps> oh, wait, is that how you were going to? I see. That's your way of that won't work. Scarecrow, that won't work. If you try to do that in the dream, it's super obvious. <laughs> you don't even look like the damn... Hold on, hold on, hold, on. hold still, hold still. I want to get... I'm trying to get your face. Hold on. All right. I want to see your face. Or are you locked on to me? Unlock. God damn it. I can do this. This works. <laughs> I 
<laughs> don't even look like the doll. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. The 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 prayer thing is perfect. What is this? Oh wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I level up? Am I gonna level up? No. Oh. <laughs> So what happens when I start beating on you? Hmm? Please hit me with that. <laughs> I want to see. Is this, oh wait, is this a doll? Oh, never mind. I was like, is this a doll cosplay? And then I was like, oh. Can you imagine a legit doll cosplay that doesn't do like... Just punches. Ow. Oh my god. Blood tinge, huh? I think. GG. Yeah, GGST. Uh, Drax on 29. 2-9. Actually, just turned 29 in March. You're young. <laughs> Don't know how that was intended to be an insult, but. Hmm. I just hear. Yeah, I'm so level 100, or blood level, or whatever the hell we're calling it, level. Uh-huh. Hmm. Okay, so they haven't been this way. Hmm. 
Yeah, I would say... I consider... I consider 24 and lower still pretty young. Um... I guess it all it all depends on your mentality, I suppose. No, I I know there's some Oh my god, I didn't know they do that. They do no damage though. I know of some there's some like twelve year olds that are more mature than 20 year olds, so I'd say it's all, you know, just depending on how, <laughs> you saw him like lean up, that looked really painful, that looked really, really, really painful. <laughs> Oh my god, he like leaned up, he's like, ah. <laughs> I'm 29. But yeah, I know, I know plenty of people who are in their 20s who are like, like, why did I do this? Um, who are like, you would swear there's got to be like a 12 year old out there who's more mature than them. And I don't mean like mature as in like laughing at fart jokes, because I'll still laugh at fart jokes. <laughs> the thought of laughing at fart jokes is making me laugh. But, um, <laughs> but, uh, but I'm talking like people who are like socially immature, like they, um, the people, the kind of people that like cause a lot of drama in the community just for the sake of like, I, I don't know why sometimes. Uh oh. Are the kind of people who judge an actual human being based on how quote unquote skilled they are in a video game. Like, I can't count how many times I've seen people on other people's YouTube channels like, like, oh my god, this guy's so bad. Like, why do people watch him? Do everyone a favor and just, like, kill yourself. And it's like, it's like, really, dude? And not, it's not even that vague of a message. It's like, one where, where you read it and you know they're serious about it. Or like somebody who hates somebody in the community because of their play style or something. They're like, they're seriously, like, venting. They're like, oh my god, I hate this guy so much. I really hope he, like, actually dies. Because he, he is just... Pretty much how people, what people do, talk about Brandon. <laughs> He's toxic to the community. Why won't he just die? So it's like that kind of mentality of you. Also, thank you. I'll check that in a moment. I'm sorry. I'm ranting. Uh, that kind of mentality of you aren't as good as me or playing like I want you to in the video game. And you you should actually die in person, and I would be happy about that. That mentality, that is a an extremely immature mentality, in my opinion. There are a lot of people who are, like, in their 20s and probably even older than that. And I, I can't help but imagine there's, like, some 12 and 13-year-olds out there who are more mature than they are. So, yeah, I... Please, please, chat, don't, don't judge a human being's worth based on how they play in a video game. Thank you. Um, and Abita says, uh, let me see, uh, 
going back to schools, wait, going back to school at 24 makes me feel old. Thanks for calling me pretty young. Being an adult feels weird. Blah. <laughs> Thank you, Abita. Yeah, my oldest brother actually uh, went back to um, went back to school recently, I believe. At least he's planning on it because he graduated in anthropo anthropology. No plans for it or anything. He just he just graduated in anthropology because I I don't know why. And then he later on decided, mm, not much I could do with that. So I think he's going back for like computer science. But, um, but yeah, I wouldn't worry about like your age going back to like college or something. It's, it's whatever. I, whenever I was in college, I'd, I had, um, there were other students that were like in their like 40s, 50s. Hell, I was in a class with a guy who was in like his 60s. And, uh, I don't know. College, you think, oh, people right out of high school, but ultimately it's, you know, anybody. Crap, I need to rush my blood stain. PhD in procrastination, I do too. I've been having more and well I guess it's because I've been doing more and more online. See so I've been having more and more FPS issues. I think it's because uh because of the online connection. Yeah, I'd say anyone who sees someone a little bit older going back to um, going back to college as anyone who has the mentality of like, "Lol, look at that old that older guy going um, coming back to school," like what a nerd, like or or what an idiot. I don't know what the hell you'd say. It's it's very reminiscent of um, that high school mentality. You know, you know the high school mentality that everyone if if you're in high school, I know you think that everything going on with you right now is just the most dramatic crap ever. And like like the seniors think that they're like you know, they're all badasses and so this coming from someone who and this isn't coming from someone who like I never got like bullied or anything. I was part of the quote unquote cool uh, group, I guess you'd say. So I had a good experience in high school, but I'm just saying there's a lot of stuff that happens in high school that feels like, oh my God, this is like so life changing. But it's like the moment, if you're bullied in high school or whatever the case is, or any grade, the moment you get into college, nobody does that crap anymore. All that crap just fades away. If you go from being a senior to thinking you're like, and thinking you're like the badass on campus to college, the moment that person steps into college and they go, oh, wait a minute, this isn't like the movies. No one knows who the hell I am. Nobody cares. Everyone's just doing their own thing. That's what college is. Everybody does their own thing. No one gives a damn how cool you were in high school. If you're wearing your Letterman jacket, no offense to anyone 
wearing Letterman jackets. I'm not trying to call you out. Um, but that's not that's not what college is. It's not like a continuation of high school. It's just people going to get their classes done. Everyone's just kind of on their own routine, their own schedule. You know, it's not um, it's not a matter of like you're not going to get bullied in college. If you get bullied in college, quote unquote bullied in college, you you call the police for <laughs> for somebody uh, assaulting you because you're adults now. Like that's bullying in college is like assault. <laughs> Send them to jail. So yeah, that's just a PSA to to any high school students or otherwise that may be listening and like going through a tough time or whatever. I promise you, you get to college. Just make it to college. You'll see. You'll see what I'm talking about. No one's gonna. No, there's no, like, there's no, like, there's no, uh, what's the term? There's no cliques. Like, it's not, like, the, the nerdy group and the, the cool kids. And it, it, it's just people. So anyone who, who sees, like, someone in their 40s going back to college and is like, oh my god, look at that, that dude, like, coming back to college. Like, what the hell is he doing? Oh my god, what a nerd. And it's like, mm, I think you're still in that high school mentality of, like, you don't run the college campus. I'm sorry, that's not how it, that's not how it works. So yeah, I wouldn't worry about going back to college at any age. The sooner the better, obviously, but... But don't be embarrassed by it. Because anyone who would call you out on it is like, they're still very uh, mentally immature. So, who really gives a damn what they say? Yeah, it's just it's just funny how all the stuff, all the ridiculous like dramatic crap from high school just it vanishes the moment you go into college it's like everyone loses touch with each other not i mean you still stay with your friends i would imagine but a lot of people lose touch with each other you lose touch with most of your class after the first like two semesters nobody's like looking to hunt out the nerds or anything like it so yeah, if you're having a tough time in high school, just don't worry about it. Get to college, it's not even going to, I promise you, it will not be. <laughs> it's like laughable how chilled out college is in comparison. It's like a reality check. That's the term I've been looking for. It's one hell of a reality check. It's exactly like the movie Revenge of the Nerds. Yes, yes, you will get you'll get plenty of swirlies in college. That's exactly what's gonna happen. That is so stupid. Now, like I said, in co if we're doing that crap in college, they you'll go to jail. <laughs> it's not nobody does that because it's it's like the real world. That like high school drama doesn't matter anymore. Nobody cares. Yarn him high? Oh god. Oh god. Uh oh. Bam. I'm not level 387. 
a personal joke. Level 100. My build's in the title. If you read, if you look at my build, I beg that you read the notes from the author at the bottom. I'm determined to drop him, but he doesn't want to. Yeah, he's like not, he doesn't care. <clears throat> See what I'm talking about? High school is for drama. You enrolled in drama courses and didn't even realize. <laughs> that is way too true. Um, I feel I'm spending a lot of wasted time in high school. Uh, you mean like going through high school? No. Definitely get that finished and decide what you're going to do with college and all that. I know plenty of people who, um, well, I say plenty. I know a few people who, uh, dropped out of high school and it, it's not always the best choice. I use visceral attacks often. How come you don't? Have the health regen and ammo regen runes equipped. Um, I use visceral attacks for PvE, yeah, but um, for PvP, I I rarely will actually pull off a visceral attack. Um, so considering that they would end up happening in like one of every five matches, it's you know it's better to have extra stamina and extra extra health you know that's something you will be using also i need to change out my covenant room had that equipped whenever we were trying to invade the hunter's dream earlier um there we go let's see yeah oh, i'll fight scumbag uh gas can. Alright, one moment guys. Hold on.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I had to turn on the AC. Also, um, I think I decided, guys, I'm um, pretty sure I'm going to be getting those, uh, those two kittens tomorrow. Well, maybe not. I don't know if I'd be getting them tomorrow, but I, uh, this girl that I, that I went to school with, essentially grew up with, she, uh, she has, like, two kittens to, um, to, to give away. And I had been wanting, I had been wanting just a, you know, kitten or cat or whatever the case is, uh, for a while now. And I was actually looking into it, like, earlier this week. And then my, my, um, my sister-in-law texted me and said that, you know, this girl that we went to school with has these two kittens to give away. And so now I'm thinking about it and I'm like, ah, like, I don't want to, it would be nice for them for, instead of just having one, it'd be nice if, if they could have somebody to play with. And plus they wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't be separating them. Which, you know, I don't know how much they care about that, but oh my god, I got wrecked. That's what I get for talking about kitties and high school and M&Ms. But yeah, um, anyway. Let's pretend that brick to the face didn't happen. Uh, yeah, so basically she's got two, two little kittens to give away and I think I'm going to take both of them. Kitty cat hype. Oh, sorry, Crow. But yeah, anyone who anyone who's uh, hanging out here and doesn't know what's going on exactly, um, I'm going through the game ringing the sinister bell at all times, meaning I'm either going to be getting invaded or I'm going to be invading in someone else's world at all times. What this also means is that you guys from the stream can hunt me down while I play. If I'm I'm level 100, I don't know exactly what the level range is. I do know a level 67 can invade a level 110. So I would imagine if you're around level 70, like between level 70 and 110, you would be you'd be okay to invade. But yeah, um, feel free to. To hunt me down, try to kill me, and by that I mean, you know, you don't have to, oh god, hold on, oh god, bad, no, 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 oh god, oh god, I need to kill him or I'm gonna lose like five, I lost 2.5 million, oh, I just lost another 500,000, oh well, <laughs> damn, damn it, I take them, I take all these enemies, I, I underestimate all of them, because that's just what I do with PvE, I just like, I talk to the chat, I re-chat, and I just like swing around, and hope I get through PvE, until a boss fight comes up. I completely underestimate it, and I'm in new game plus, 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 at soul level 100, so that's probably not, I probably should pay a little more attention. But yeah, point is, well, actually, I don't need to fight these guys anymore. Bye. Why did I fight them in the first place? Um, point is, you can come and hunt me down and kill me. Be as scumbag as you want to be. I'm not going to expect you to show up and bow, and then I bow back, and then we have a nice, fair duel, and we shake hands and kiss. I, I don't, I don't, um, I don't need that. Be a scumbag as you want. Run into enemies to try to get me killed. Heal as much as you want. Like, treat it like an actual invasion. I mean, you don't have to. I'm just saying. I'm not going to get, like, upset with you. Um, 
I might talk smack, but that that just that just comes with the territory. Um, but yeah. If you want if you want to show up and bow and duel, yeah, that's fine. If I'm not if I'm not getting if I'm not in a situation where like I I feel the need to heal, which would be the only situation I could imagine is if I'm getting attacked by a bunch of enemies or if I'm invading getting ganked. Other than that, you know, I'll only heal if if they heal most of the time. Um so I'm I always try to be you know, I'll always try to like just fight someone straight up and if you heal, I'll heal. Because otherwise we're just kind of wasting each other's vials. But by all means, you know, treat it like you would any other invasion. And feel free to really scum it up. I'm actually quite weird like that. I, I respect a good scumbag. <laughs> so... The scummier, the better, in my opinion. It really scummy up in here. What? You get her dialogue. What are you still doing here? Yeah, hunter must hunt. Oh God, I'm totally listening to her and not. Ah, uh, so much for the sneak attack. You see what I'm talking about, scumbag? That's that's what I'm talking about right there. <laughs> this is this is what I'm this is what I'm after. Yes, yes, perfect. This is all right. This is just right. Mm -hmm. You wanna go? You wanna do this? Oh God, gravity! <laughs> Come on. Come on, what you gonna do? You gonna taunt? Yeah, that's not smart. Get the hell off my platform. <gasps> Yee! Yee! <laughs> oh god damn it. GG. Oh, that was you, Saria? Yeah, good fight. <laughs> you see, you see whenever you <laughs> whenever you don't like whenever it's not the um just show up bow. Let's have a nice duel. Whenever it's not that, that kind of crap happens. That kind of ridiculous crap happens. And I'm, I am more than okay with that. I'm okay with dueling if that's your thing. But I'm, I'm definitely okay with scumming it up because it leads to stupid scenarios like that. So yeah, good fight. And that's why, that's why I want, like, Brandon and, well, Ty's already done this. I want Brandon to try this run because because you get the experiences. Brandon just wants to invade, do random invasions, um, and that's fine and all. But you end up waiting around for so long that if you do this, you can get that same like that same experience of a random invasion in your own world. So I think he would actually really enjoy this if he gave it the time of day but he's like insistent on on not doing it which that's fine but he's gonna tire the game a lot faster she already has Whoop. Mm -mm. Game for PC or PS4? It's PS4 exclusive. Ah, see what I'm talking about? Get the best of both worlds. I just hear him? Yeah. That's him, right? <sighs> Don't want him to hear me. Oh, 
Not much you can do about that. I'm just splashing around everywhere. Yeah, they're not going to do a PC port with this game. Not a chance. They even uh, released something. Uh, I guess it's unofficially, but pretty damn official. On Twitter, uh, the product manager actually sent out a tweet that said, uh, we have no intention of uh, porting Bloodborne to PC. It is a... It is a PlayStation exclusive game and we'll be staying on PS4 and compare it to The Last of Us look at The Last of Us everyone loves The Last of Us and it's never it's a it's a it's a PlayStation exclusive it's never been ported to PC so I'm not trying to be a dick I'm just kind of calling it how it is But blood gems? 22.5%, 18, and 18. Oh. That's weird. He's way back there. Yeah, exactly. Sony owns it. It's selling their new consoles. They're not gonna... They will not do that. Where the hell is he? Ah. Uh. These guys would be at least he would be turned around. He's back here. This guy's dead or missing. He's got to be back here. Oh, <laughs> that's not good. That's not good. He had some buddies, and one of them. Oh my god. Oh wait, no. I know what they're doing. He's probably about to disconnect. They probably. This may be some randoms, and they like can't find me. And so they're they're gonna just disconnect entirely. So he's sending his friends home. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, where the hell? He was just here. Maybe not. Maybe his friends just bailed. That's a shame. Oh. That looks like the sewer. I did it. I'm the best. Yep. Pretty good. A little anticlimactic, but okay. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, you see, I'm I'm going through the game and I'm still getting those that genuine um those genuine invasions, like genuine invasion experiences as I play through the game. Uh-oh. Speak of the devil. Massive nerd raid. Hello everybody from Brandon's stream. Hello Brandon, if you're 
You're lurking. Yeah, we just started a new game plus 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 plus. He's out. That dude's done. He doesn't. He knows the boulder's coming. This is new game. This. It's like the fourth playthrough or fifth playthrough. He. That enemy knows far too well that that boulder is coming. Uh oh. Oh, looks like he's. I appreciate your scumbag attempt. Not scummy enough. Oh, what a miss. What? That miss too? Damn it. Ooh, time to die. Nope. GG. Yeah, good fight. But yeah, anyway, we're doing a new game plus, 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 plus. Um, I'm just going through the game with the sinister bell ringing. So, for anyone who doesn't know what that entails, I'm going to be either getting invaded or getting pulled into invasions constantly. And um, you guys can feel free to hunt me down and invade me. I'm level 100. So I'd say if you're between 70 and 110, you're probably you're probably okay. And just come try to invade me. I'd say you'd be you'd be all right at that level. But um, yeah, it actually works really well. You. Um, I'm I'm constantly getting invaded, getting invaded by like MNA and a ton of other people from the chat, and I'm also invading random people too. So it's pretty good. See what I mean? Do I fight them? Should I fight them? Oh, looks like uh, <laughs> okay. Okay, you answer that one for me. That's a cool looking build. Oh, that was Zimne? <laughs> Get wrecked, Zimne. Where's the, um... Oh, there wasn't any more vials. Okay. A 120 can invade downright. So you were 120. So Zimne was level 120 just now and invaded me at level 100. Interesting. Should probably tell Illusory Wall that.
Brandon, I'm telling you, if you do this run, you will get all kinds of invasions. You'll invade, you'll be invaded. Whenever you are invaded, you might as well be getting an invasion because people resort to scumbag tactics. Plus, you have the risk of like losing your echoes and stuff, so it makes it that much more intense. It's fights throughout the level, just like a random invasion, regardless of you're hosting or not. I've gotten so many random invasions already. Actually, yeah, I invaded a moment ago, and there were gankers, but uh, I couldn't find them. I was hunting them throughout the level. I couldn't, I couldn't seem to find them. And so the two, the two gankers left. The two friends. Oh, what's that smell? You never... <laughs> never interrupt Gascoigne's dialogue. Anyway, it's, um... There were two of them that left, and then the host died on his own before I could get to him. But, yeah. You get everything. I'm telling you, it is... I mean, hell, I'm on New Game Plus, 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 Plus. Ask me if I'm enjoying it. There's not, there's never a dull moment, put it that way. Uh-oh. Gascoigne didn't want to go quietly. 